Please do excuse my appearance. Yes, I am wearing a coat. I'm probably the first YouTuber ever to wear a coat in a video, but it is so cold in my conservatory right now. Literally, I am freezing, but I have to film in here because it's the only place that's got like decent natural light. So yeah, I'm freezing, but bear with me. I can like not feel my nose. It's probably going like really red, but yeah, anyways. Apart from that, um, today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be doing an about me tag. I'm going to do um, 20 things you might not already know about me. And basically I was really struggling with what to film this week. I had absolutely no idea, I had like brain block. And I was going through other YouTubers videos to try and get some inspiration. And I was still like coming up with nothing. I just could not think of what to do this week. I have no idea why. So yeah, so I thought I would do this video as I've not done anything like this before and it might help to get you to know, get you to know me a little bit better, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, hopefully there'll be some interesting facts in here and I'm going to get straight to it. Okay, so the first fact is that I used to live in America. I moved over there when I was about four years old and came back when I was eight. We moved there for my dad's job and lived just outside of New York and it was amazing. And most of my like first childhood memories are from over there, so I just found it really strange when we moved back here. Like I thought that I'd find it fine, but I just I don't know, I felt like I'd left home and come to like a foreign country or something when it's like the other way around, because I was actually born in the UK. Um so I don't know, but yeah, I used to live in America and I used to have a very strong American accent. Um but I lost that very swiftly when I came back over to the UK and yeah. That's the first fact. Fact number two, when I was about two or three years old, I was walking through the park um, in Nottingham, Willerton Park, with uh, my family, and I was clearly messing around and running off when I shouldn't have been running off, and I fell over face first, smacked my head into the ground, and like with my mouth open or something, I don't know what I was doing, don't ask me. But yeah, I fell face first down, and my two front teeth fell out. Yeah, that must have been real pretty. <laughs> but uh, my mum had to sit there and she like shoved them back into my gums. How disgusting, but thank you mum, because otherwise I would not have two front teeth. So I think that's actually quite a nice thing for her to do. So thank you mum, <laughs> I appreciate my two front teeth. The next fact would be that I have a major fear of animals. Like anyone that knows me, knows that I am extremely scared of all animals. I think I'm worse with dogs, spiders, cats, but any animal I just can't cope. Like I couldn't even clean out a fish bowl if you asked me to, because I'd be too scared that the fish would touch me. I'm just, that sounds ridiculous, but I'm genuinely like really scared. Like I'm not scared to walk up the high street and there's like pigeons like waddling about and stuff. I'm not scared of them. But I guess I would be scared if they like landed on me or got too close or whatever. But I'm not scared to like walk past them. But if I saw a dog walking along like the sidewalk with its owner, I'd probably cross the road. Not probably, I know I would because I do it all the time, but yeah. Fact number four, or I don't know whether I can actually call this a fact, but when I was two years old-ish, because I was still living in the UK, um, I swear that I swallowed a penny. Maybe it was like night time, like in my sleep or something, I don't know. Maybe I sleepwalked or something, I don't know. But I swallowed a penny and I remember just like choking on this penny and I remember waking up my dad and trying to like get this penny out my throat. And my mum does not remember this, but I swear that my dad does remember that I was choking on a penny. So that was a pretty pointless fact, but yeah, I'm sure I choked on a penny when I was younger. <laughs> Sorry if I keep looking down as well. It's because like I've written them all down because otherwise like, I'll completely forget. But fact number five is that I'm kind of superstitious. I'm not the superstitious where like, oh, I can't let a black cat cross my path or I can't put shoes on a table or something like that. But more superstitious, like I make my own superstitions. Like if I do something a certain way once, and it works, like what I want to happen works, then I'll do it again, thinking that the same thing's gonna happen again. So I don't know, like I can't even give you an example really, but like, say like if I wanted my day to go really, really well, 
when I was walking to the place I was going to, I'd like, I don't know, try to avoid walking under a street sign or something and then hope that that would mean that I'd have a good day. And then if I did have a good day, I'd avoid walking under the street sign the next day, hoping that the same thing would happen. That sounds absolutely mental now that I've said it out loud, so that's awkward, but <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. <laughs> Okay, I genuinely like have quite a few fears in my life, like I have a phobia of being sick which I guess is another uh, fact about me, but I have a serious phobia of mould. I can't deal with it. If something has gone mouldy, I, nope, I will literally drop it, walk away, can't look at it, like can't put it in the bin, can't wash it out, whatever it is, can't do it. It started when um, I was doing food tech at school and I had to take raspberries for like some sort of recipe or whatever. I ended up not using the raspberries and then I bought them home, left them in a bag and they went really mouldy. And they went so mouldy that my mum refused to like clean the container out and I had to do it. And since then I have not been able to hack mould because I that just scarred me for life. And now like if I see bread go mouldy or something I just have to walk away like I can't even look at it, I can't stand it. No. Just no. Okay, next fact. I find something really like oddly satisfying about being the first to read a book. Like if someone has read that book before me, like I just find the story so much less, so much less enjoyable. Like I don't know what it is because it's still the same story and like it doesn't matter if someone's read the book before me but I just can't do it. Like if someone's read the book, it just feels like like the story's already gone. The, per the person that read it first time has taken the story and me reading it the second time is just like, no. It's just not the same. And also, I've never read a book twice, which is stupid because I love like buying books and like putting them on my bookshelf, like the ones that I've read. But I literally have never read any one of those books that I bought twice because I just already know what happens, so I don't find it enjoyable. And this is, this is all one point, but they're all separate, but really, I don't know. Um, I also can't read books where I'm going to watch the film or I can't um, read a book after I watch the film. Does that make sense? Because then I know what's going to happen or I already know what happened. So it just takes the enjoyment out of it. Am I the only one like that? Surely there is someone else as crazy as me out there. Please let me know. Okay, fact number eight is that I can lay my thumb flat on my wrist. I don't know, like... That sounds like pretty average, but I can like bend it back and lay it flat. I don't know if you can see that. Like lay it flat on my wrist. Like, can you do that? Go, go ahead and try it because I've heard that it's pretty hard to do. Fact number nine, I always have really cold feet up to the point where like someone else will not touch my feet. That's disgusting. I have a phobia of, people, of people's feet as well. I just have a phobia of everything. I've just got a problem. Um, but yeah, like if someone touched my feet, they wouldn't feel cold. But to me, they're always painfully cold, like really cold to the bone. And I find it really hard to warm them up. And it's awful. It is the worst feeling ever. I absolutely hate having cold feet. Cold feet, warm heart? I don't know. Fact number 10 is quite funny, but I have a real problem parting with money. I know that sounds absolutely mental and I do do it like on a daily basis or whatever but it's funny because if I see something in a shop that I really like, for example if I see a jumper and I really like it and I try it on and I absolutely love it and it's like the best jumper ever and I really really want it but I can't afford it so I don't buy it and then I'm like obsessing about it over and over I'm like when I have that money I'm gonna go get that jumper oh my god what if it's sold out da, 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 da. what if it's like gone in my size or whatever absolutely obsessing over it and then I'll have the money and then I'll go back and I'll look at it and I'll be like no I'm not gonna get it even though I really really want it I still don't buy it because I'd rather have the money go for it Fact number 11, the story of why I actually wear glasses. It's not because I have bad eyesight, although I guess that has happened since. Like, I don't have perfect eyesight. Um, but when I was two, again, I was like a mischievous two-year-old. I was sitting in a high chair and I was like sitting to the dinner table and everyone else was like sitting in the normal chairs. And I was like, no, I don't want to sit in this stupid high chair. I want to sit on a normal chair with everyone else. 
And my parents are like, well, no, you're sitting in the high chair. So I started rocking backwards and forwards, like rebelling on my chair. And the chair flung backwards. I flew out the top <laughs> and managed to hit my, hit my head on the radiator on the way down. And I guess it just like messed up the muscles like behind my eye, like twisted them or whatever, loose, made them weaker. And now my eye is sort of like, it's like a lazy eye almost, but it's sort of like, like, like turns in a bit if I'm not wearing glasses. So the strength of the glass like pulls the eye back to the center, if that makes sense. That sounds disgusting, <laughs> but it's really, really not that bad. And I'm gonna have to film this video really quickly, aren't I? Cause it's starting to rain. Uh, fact number 12, I've lived in six houses so far and I cannot wait to move again cause I love moving house. Fact number 13, I studied tea line shorthand at uni. Um, and I managed to do it like a fast track course and I did it up to 60 words per minute and I'm really proud of that even though it's probably not that fast for shorthand but yeah I passed my exam with 100% and that's the only exam I've ever done where I passed for 100% so I'm really proud of that. Fact number 14 is quite funny. If I start telling a story and someone interrupts me, I have to start from the beginning. It's because I figure that they didn't hear the beginning because they interrupted me. And then even when they pull me up on it and they're like, yeah, I've already heard this bit. I still am like, oh, you interrupted me again. I've got to start all over again. It's like an OCD or something. I have absolutely no idea what started that off, but that's another quirky fact. <laughs> um, a random thing to note, I guess. I've never gone out with someone who's blonde I don't know why. I have nothing against blondes, but I've never gone out with a person who's blonde. This is like a really, really weird one, but my facial expression seems to never actually match how I feel. Like obviously if I'm like laughing or happy or whatever, like obviously my face matches, but sometimes I'm like standing there and I'll like, I'll think that I'm smiling at someone and I'll feel like my face is in a smile but like if I catch myself in a mirror, I've got like a really grumpy face. And I'm just like, what? Like, cause I feel like I'm like radiating this huge smile and I'm actually just stood there like, I just, I don't get it. So most people must think I'm in a really, really bad mood all the time. Cause they just think that I'm never smiling and when I'm like standing there thinking I'm like, oh, hi everyone. <laughs> no idea, crazy. I was really, really scared of the Demon Headmaster, the TV programme as a child. My brother watched it once and I was sat on the sofa watching it with him and I freaked myself out. It was like one of these episodes where like if someone stayed still for too long, the Demon Headmaster would like look at them and it would like encase them in this box and then they couldn't move. And I got really, really scared that if I stayed like still for too long, the Demon Headmaster would come along and encase me in a box. So I had to continuously move all the time. I must have looked like an absolute crazy lady. Well, crazy kid, like just sitting there like, da, 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 can't stop moving, otherwise I'm gonna get stuck in a box. I keep books full of tickets and letters and important like quirky little leaflets and stuff that I collected over the years when I've done something that I thought was important. And I always keep like plane tickets and like foreign money and I all put them in this like um, self-adhesive book and I have three or four of them that I filled up now and I just love looking back on them and like seeing all the stuff I did and it just makes for really happy memories. And the second to last fact would be that I always cry at inappropriate times. I don't know what it is, like I'll feel fine and then I'll just break down into tears if someone said something specific. I have no idea. I couldn't even tell you like what it is. Like, oh, this is gonna really upset me, so I'm gonna cry. No, I'm just sitting there and then all of a sudden I'm like, eh, like getting really upset over nothing. I have no idea. No idea. Thankfully, that doesn't happen too often anymore. And the last one, just to end on a funny story. When I went to get my ear, ears pierced, I think I was year eight or year nine. I think it was year nine. So what does that make me? Like 14, 15, I don't know. But yeah, I went to get them done in Claire's accessories and I was freaking out like I'm such a wimp. And I was like freaking out that it was gonna hurt and I just don't do well with pain. 
And I was sat in the chair and they picked out the earrings and they draw the dot on my ear to like measure it up so it all looks level. And these little kids came in and they'd come to get their ears pierced too. And I kid you not, they were like four years old. And I was there like, okay, now I can't like wimp out because they like little kids are going to get it done after me. And they're like watching me to see how it is. And the ladies put like the guns to my ears and they're like, right, we're going to do it. And I was like, no and I jumped out of the chair and you should have seen this like little four year old's face it was like oh my god I'm not getting that done <laughs> and my mum was like get back in the chair I was like no I don't want to it's gonna hurt so much but yeah I ended up doing get back in the chair and like manned up and got my ears pierced and I mean, it wasn't really that bad was it it was alright it was just getting your ears pierced but like I, I was scarred for a while I was like okay if they heal up I'm not getting it done again because I'm, I'm just not going through that again. Like, I'm not putting myself through the pain and the agony of sitting in that chair in the shop window, having passers by watching me, having four year old little kids. Like, what on earth are you doing? Like, I'm just not doing it to myself. <laughs> but thankfully, they have never healed up and I've never had the problem of having to go back. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, that are. That are. That is my 20 facts about my crazy experiences and weird quirks I guess you could call them I don't know but yeah let me know some interesting facts about you down below so we can get to know each other and I will see you guys next week I think I'm going to be doing my favorites of January next week because I think that next Friday is the end of January crikey that's come around so quickly that's crazy but yeah I'll be doing a giveaway so make sure you check out for that or check out for that watch out for that cannot speak Anyways, I'm going to go now because this is becoming a seriously long video, so I will see you guys next week. Bye!